New page in the diary, fresh personal promises, reignited ambitions. But for English football's elite, a familiar and mammoth challenge. Yup, we're back. It's about time guys, we're back again with a brand new Creator Club series, but this time we're going to Spain. And we're leveling things up for this series, I'm on the PC version and that means I've got access to all the mods and we're going to be using Pfeiffer's Realism mod in this series that I think is going to make things epic because this brings kids sponsors and we've got something cool going about that and also real player faces for all most of the players at least, so that's gonna be epic. We're in Spain, so we're gonna call ourselves Senor Estucci. Hey yo, look at that, our manager's got the drip this season. Look at that, okay, the pants may be a bit too tight, but you know what? The drip, we'll run with it. You guys know how the City Football Club have got like different clubs across the globe in different leagues? Kind of like that. You can assume S2G FC has bought a club in Spain and we're calling it S2G Club the Football. We're in Spain, so we gotta follow tradition. As I said, we are going to Spain. Now, the big decision was whether we go La Liga or La Liga Smart Bang. I feel like the series will be a lot more fun if we're straight away in La Liga. Don't worry, we're not gonna make our team OP or anything. We'll still be like a low level La Liga club. But I feel like the challenge, the grind of hustling at the bottom of La Liga would be a lot more fun. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I think I'm just gonna replace like maybe Cadiz, cause why not? And for rivalry, I'm thinking Atletico Madrid. I feel like Barcelona have Real Madrid, their historic rivalry. Us versus Atletico, of course, we're not going to be level with them in terms of our squad, but I think it's going to be a fun rivalry that we can build on. David versus Goliath to start with. Love it. I'm not going to lie, this match kind of has a few similarities with my club badge, so we'll rock with this. By the way, new badges available for customization because of the mods we've got. I think I know which stadium I'm picking to start the club. Esta de Montelivi. We're gonna also rename it and call it the Oliver Bryan Arena. It's only fair we honor one of our cult heroes from the last Creator Club series we did. Who knows, man? Next season, new stadium, and we rename it after a cult hero from this series. For this Creator Club series, since we're starting in La Liga, I'm gonna go three and a half star and a very young squad because the last time we did the Creator Club, we did a balanced squad and we ended up having a lot of older players and that kind of ruins the fun because then we don't get to see their progression. They end up retiring soon. So I feel like this is the way very young three and a half star you can see a quick look at the team we'll go through it later and the expectations as well transfer budget ignore that for now it's not gonna be that that's that boys it's time to start the series we've arrived s2g club the football is here and it's time to begin this series oh my days am i excited for this there you go, guys. It's been announced, and I'm sure you guys are wondering, hold on, what is that kit? When are you going to do the kit reveal? Before that, something about our kit sponsors that you guys need to know. That's right, guys. This season, first season at S2G Club, the football, we get to choose our sponsor. And it's not such an easy decision. These are our three options. Emirates, Rakuten, and O2. Remember O2? They were on the Arsenal shirt back in the day. Each sponsor will give us a set transfer budget for this season. If we're with Emirates, 80 million. If we're with Rakuten, 70. O2 means 60. But we've got to complete the objectives that each of these companies want us to do. And guess what, guys? If we don't end up completing these objectives next season, 25 million we'll have to pay as a fine. So it's not a good idea to, you know, not complete those objectives. And that's why for the first season, I'm pretty sure which sponsor that I want to choose. Um, it's got to be Rakuten. And that means we'll need to sign a Japanese player this season. Any suggestions? Put them down in the comments. One Japanese player, we can certainly do that. And we'll also need to win a game against Atletico, who are our rivals. Oh boy, is that going to be tough? I prefer the Rakuten deal. More money as well than O2. We're going to take that for the first season. It's time to reveal the kit, folks, and we're going to do it on one of our most talented players, centre-back Alonso. You guys will find out more about him soon, but for the kits we're using this season, Rakuten on it, it's Nike, and honestly, it looks pretty darn decent. I love the look of our kits for this season. 
They look really good. This is going to be the home kit. The away kit is probably my favorite though. And we're going to use our number nine presser to unveil it. Look at that. Yo, the away kit honestly looks absolutely insane. Like this, I think finally we're going to use our away kit a lot. I love it. Now, before we get into the squad, if you guys are excited for a brand new Creator Club series, I need to see your support. We're in Spain. Senor S2G needs your support. So drop a like on the video. If you guys can smash out 9,000 likes for the first episode of our brand new series, I'll get you an episode tomorrow. Guaranteed subscribe as well for daily FIFA 22 career mode content. And let's begin our Creator Club series, Spanish edition. It is now indeed time to introduce you guys to the squad we're going to be working with in this series. Starting off with, looks like our main man, Pressa, 80 rated. Look at those stats, Look, they look pretty good. Like he's 30, he's going to be like the veteran center forward, but everything's going to go through him. Then we've got Lopez, 79 rated down the wings, again another 30 year old. Navarro looks decent, especially with the skill moves. And he's 24. Gallardo looks to be the man in midfield. Solid stats all round. Once again, though, he's 29. Schmidt and Cortez look like some of the young guns of the team. Okay, maybe not, because Schmidt is 32 and Cortez is 27. So midfield is, I reckon, where we will need improvements. And then at the back, we've got Cabrera looking okay. 75 rated, but our centre-backs are ballers, man. Casas looks decent. 26, Spaniard. Alonso is the man. Development plans on him. And the 24-year-old is going to be unreal. Then we've got Gonzalez at right back who looks okay. Espinosa and goal. That needs to change. Could he be the next Shane Hume? Not too sure, but we'll have to just wait and watch. By the way, you would notice that the player models are a lot more different and actually very unique because, well, the realism mod has changed how the generated players look like. So it gives you much more of a realistic feel. Like, look at Pressa. Man's got crazy good hair and everything. And look at Aguirre. I've never seen a player be generated like that. I mean, he's 59 rated, so that's a bit of an L, but he's only 17. We already have a Japanese player in the side. That's super interesting, although he's not all that good. But that makes sense now that we've got the Rakuten deal. Oh, we've got another man called Pressa in goal. Um, 68 rate. That's interesting. We'll find out more about all these players, guys, as we get through the series. And that's what's going to be amazing. Felix Alonso, though. He's one of them players I think you guys need to remember his name because he's going to ball out for us. Javier Pressa as well. He's going to be amazing too. I've, I've got that sneaky feeling. And as I said, with that Rakuten deal, we're working with 70 million for the first season. The reason why I'm kind of fast tracking this series and giving us a better base to start with is because I realized from our last creator club, it took way too long to start getting real players involved and that kind of made people get bored of the series. So I thought this way we'll have a lot of real players come in. We'll have a good court that we develop and still win an average La Liga team. So th the progress will still be there and it'll be a lot of fun. And of course, boys, press conferences are back for this series. This is a big part of the series. You guys get involved, ask your questions, build your stories. Let me know in the comment section any questions you've got. We'll be answering three every single episode. Get commenting. Remember, guys, this creator club is a bit different. We've already established the S2GFC brand in England. So you could say that's why we've got such a big pull. That's why we are starting off with a much more decent team. And that's why we got that Rakuten deal. 70 million to improve the team. And I'm already feeling our first signing has got to be building the base. I think Espinosa. I'm not convinced with the Uruguayan, like 73 rated, 25 years old. How much can he realistically grow? I don't think so. So I think the job now is to replace him and get maybe a Spaniard in goal. I feel like that is the smart play, which we're going to try and pull off. So depends on who can we sign. Remember, 70 million. We need that to improve a lot of positions. Midfield, probably a winger and that goalkeeper position. So we got to be smart, but I've got an idea. Unai Simon, you guys know I love signing cult heroes in Creator Club series because it just makes the series so much better. And I remember him from my Barca career. He was great. He was so much better than Ter Stegen. And that's why I want to put my faith in him. For some reason, 
I reckon we can get the 24 year old for a very, very good price. We're not going to pay the release clause. Our first ever signing at S2 GFC could be a big one. Unai Simon. Did I say S2GFC? I'm just so used to it, man. S2GCF or Club the Football. But let's go. It's time to make our first signing, boys. Oh, I'm ready for this. I really am. All right, now to offer a transfer fee. If we can just swap Espinosa, we're not really going to get much off it, you know. We really aren't. But I'm still going to do it. I am still going to do it. And maybe chuck in 25 million. We can save that extra bit of cash. It works for me. They're willing to do that. You know what? This is a deal and a half. This right here is a deal and a half. And the kind of transfers I reckon we need to make in this series. 27.8 million plus Mario Espinosa for Unai Simon. It's a shame we can't build a storyline with Espinosa. But you know what? We can't build storylines with every player, you know. Some of them we need to ship out and get better players. And Unai Simon is going to be the rock at the back for us. Still got to convince him that our project makes sense. Crucial squad role will be his demand, I am sure. We'll give him a five-year deal. Let's tie him down for as long as possible. Three-year contract length as well. Ah, uh, no release clause. There's no rule for us to put them. There is no rule for us to put release clauses. But in La Liga, it's compulsory to have release clauses. So, you know what? I'm going to do it again. We're going to do the same thing we did at Wolves and putting the maximum possible release clause on any signings we make. But we won't, we'll figure it out towards the end, like how often are we allowed to renew the deals? But yeah, I think that's just a smart thing to do. Let's try and get a 70 million release clause in Unai Simon. Ah, oh, 61 is too less. You know what, guys? I'm gonna deny it. In this series, maybe we'll run things differently. I'm not sure whether we want to have the release clause rule or not. Let me know in the comment section. This is going to be our only signing in this episode. So, yeah, you guys can let me know. Contract-wise, I reckon he will require a bump in wages because he's joining a new project, a completely different club in a way. So, yeah, we we're going to have to convince him. So, we're offering him a bit of a bumper contract, 80000 per week, 300000 signing bonus, and that's worked. Unai Simon is now... An S2G club, the football player. Let's go. The first signing we've made in this CDs, boys. Number 24. Get out of here. We're changing that. We are changing that. Make him number one, please. Let There you go. Number one, Unai Simon. Perfect. Also, with that, we don't need three keepers. I'm going to transfer this, this Bello guy because it just makes sense. We, we, this presser is decent enough to be back up. Guys, I feel a lot better about our team with Unai Simon in. Now, we probably need a couple of midfielders, most importantly, and wingers as well. We still got to sign that Japanese player as well. Otherwise, Rakuten are going to take 25 million away from us next season. So, that's something we need to worry about. Comments, get involved. I need to know what your suggestions are. What other improvements can we make for this side? 40 million, we're going to keep that as is for now. And just wait until you guys let me know what the plan is. Meanwhile, I think we need to put development plans on some of our key players. Like, especially someone like Francisco Gallardo. He can still grow up until he's 32. The same with Pressa. Gotta give him, like, a development plan that'll get his shooting up, I presume. Uh, which one's nice? I think this one's the pressing forward. Yeah, don't mind that if I do. Don't, don't mind that at all. Felix Alonso is the big one in this team, boys. A stopper plan on him. To, no, sweeper gives pace now. Stopper doesn't give pace. I thought stopper used to give pace. Maybe that's the realism mods difference. So, yeah, we, we, we'll do the sweeper plan to give him more pace. Cesar Navarro is going to be a very, very key winger for us. So, inverted winger. Just need that finishing, shooting, and everything up. A lot of these 54 and 59 rated players, let's be real, we're not going to use. Might as well loan them out to just, you know, let them breathe a little. Get a bit of, uh, what do you call it? You know, just experience and all that. So, the extremely low rated players... We're probably just going to loan out. Look at that. Already getting an offer for this Bello guy who's in goal who I don't really care about. 1.1 million. You know what? You can leave. 29. He's not growing. It just makes sense. An offer for Francisco Gallardo, who is our captain, guys. It's going to be a potential cult hero. So we're rejecting any offers for him. I guess it now begins. We're not making any more transfers in this episode, but we are going to start off our La Liga campaign. We take on Levante for the season opener. This is going to be epic. It's time 
to put this squad to test and see how we begin our journey. Tactics wise, I want to play my high pressure tactics as usual because that's just how I like playing FIFA so that we've got that sorted at least. Gallardo is going to be our captain. Our best free kick taker. Who's that actually? I think it's Presser with 70. Oh, he's going to lead that. And penalties? Ah, oh, nobody's good at pens as well. It's going to be Presser. Oh boy, I'm excited for this. I am so excited for this. We're just going to use our best team possible for this one against Levante. It's the season opener at our home stadium. Matteo Lajos is the referee, by the way. Oh my. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I want to see instantly, like, who are the stars of this team? Ah, here we are at our new stadium. I can already feel the pressure. I can already feel the pressure, man. Match day one. The season begins now. Let's go. It was Leon Noble, if I'm not wrong, who scored the very first goal of our Creator Club series. Who is it going to be now? Cortez. Pressa. He's going to be one of the key parts of this team. Looking for Gallardo. It's a lovely ball out wide for Navarro if he gets there first, which he somehow does, but giving it away. By the way, we've got the realism mod for the gameplay as well. So that makes the gameplay, I think, a lot more difficult and realistic. What a save from Unai Simon. That's why you pay the big money for the goalkeeper. Because he's going to pull off saves like that and keep you in the game. Unreal. By the way, I got to say, the home kits look nice. Like, I'm really happy with our kit choices for this season. Okay, already instantly, I can tell this. Number seven, Gallardo, is one of the stars of this team. Absolutely, as we are now on the attack here with Navarro. Is Pressa good in the air? Real question, is that now? He is good in the air. He's actually scored. Javier Pressa, what a header. Remember the name. The first goal of our Spanish quest is scored by Javier Pressa. Oh my goodness. That is unbelievable. The cross from Navarro and the header. We're going to score a lot of these, I feel. Pressa seems to be a beast in the air. What a header off the post and in. I didn't expect that to go in. Look at that. Javier Pressa, a true number nine finish. Unbelievable. Look at him celebrating. An absolute hero, man. What a goal. He's got 64 heading accuracy. How did he pull that off? NS Bardi seems to be very, very quick. Looks for that ball inside for Morales. We know he's dangerous. Roger. I go sliding in like a maniac, giving them a chance in... What? From there? How have they equalized with that? You know what? I can't even complain. That was a strike and a half. Unai Simon stood no chance. Fair enough. Levante get the equalizer. It's 1-1. One, one. one thing I'll tell you, our midfield is getting overrun in this game. It's literally Gallardo or nothing. Next episode, you guys better suggest me midfielders to bring in because... That's going to be absolutely vital. Yes, Morales gets through again. Can't let him shoot. We do. But Unai Simon saves us. Oh, I don't like this. This should be our ball. Unai Simon saves us again. Inside for Roger. Going for goal. Levante now looking so much better. It's the inexperience. That's, I guess, costing us. Offside. Half time. 1-1. One, one. Competitive game. But that's what you expect. In real life, Levante a bottom of La Liga. So we're playing against a very weak Levante side. And guess what? We're neck and neck with them. Shows that that's our level right now. And we're going to have to grow from this. Here's Lopez. Trying some silky skills, which has worked for him. And he's seemingly quick. Maybe another cross in. For Javier Pressa, can he attack it? This time was asking a little bit too much. We find Gallardo though. Looking inside for Pressa. Finds Cortez. It's a back pass for Schmidt. Gallardo, it's our fullback now. Inside for Pressa. Nah, cut away. Roger on the attack. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Unai Simon saves us, but that rebound was always going to fall to Morales. <sighs> it's not going to be an easy ride in La Liga. Could we be in for a relegation battle? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Need to step things up. I need to see more from Gallardo here as he gets past his man. Not really, but he's going to turn inside. And here he goes. Gallardo beating a couple of players. Looking out wide for Lopez. Opens up his body off the crossbar, but he's offside. That's the first time I saw what Gallardo is up to. And you know what? He can produce. Schmidt with a good win for the header there. Looking for Pressa. Pressa looking to take it wide. Beating his man. Stops it. Fake shot. Inside to Cortes. Options aren't really there. We're going to have to find our fullback Cabrera. 
who stops it, taking it wide. Maybe another cross could lead to a goal. I'm not too sure. Gallardo again. Looking to open up his body. Couldn't shoot. I just couldn't shoot. And Levante now dropping deep. Oh, Morales is so freaking good, man. It's it's oh, it's not fair. It's not fair we have to compete with that. NS body. Oh, Levante are just so freaking good. Can't get the ball off them, man. And that's a problem. That's a big problem. NS body puts it back in. Good clearance from Gonzalez. But unless we get the ball forward, nothing's happening here. Presa, we need him to try and link up the player for us. And that's what he's doing. And here he goes on the attack. Presa has already scored once. Looking for Cortez. Sees the ball for Navarro. What a chance. How has he not scored there? What an opportunity for Navarro. He was on his stronger right foot as well. That should have been our equaliser. We had the chance. Navarro. Morales. Oh, he's looked for that pass again. It's a problem, but Enes body somehow keeps it in. Levante are just not giving us the ball. They're using all their experience from, you know, being a football club for so long and just keeping us out. Finally, Presa can bring it forward now. And let's see what he can do here. But he gets stopped as well. This is going to be a tough start to the series as expected. We're not going to be winning from day one. We had our dream moment of taking the lead with the Javier Presa header, but it's going to be a grind. Every episode's going to be a grind. Next episode, we need to improve that midfield. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. Look at the stats. It just completely tells the story. We just couldn't compete in the second half. This sums it up, really. Presa's first goal of the season, not enough. <laughs> Funnily enough, just as he scores that header, RB Leipzig are like, yo, we found a player to sign. Nah, we're not selling him. We're not selling Gallardo. We're not selling Navarro as well. Just get off my players. Not going to sim any more days ahead because we need to, you know, sit back and assess what needs to be improved. We already signed Unai Simon, but I doubt we can sign that caliber of players anymore 43 million a lot of positions to improve maybe a couple of centimeters a cdm is needed full back even a right winger even there's a lot of work to be done in this side but a bit of hope already is javier presa and francisco gallardo and even alonso three players i'm very very excited about but again, played of the episode for me, that header. First goal ever for this club. Javier Press is going to end up winning it. I'm glad we don't end up playing Real Madrid or Barcelona anytime soon. So, yeah, next episode, focus will be more transfers, improving the team. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Make sure to drop a like in the video because 9,000 likes gets you an episode tomorrow. Subscribe if you are new around here as well. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.